Global War 36 enthusiast here with Operation Casino Royale, <clears throat> turn 1.1, Germany. Yesterday was the Super Bowl here in the U.S., and uh, I was rooting for the Kansas City Chiefs, and my voice is totally gone. A uh, very exciting game, one of, one of the best Super Bowls. <clears throat> so that explains why I'm so hoarse today. It is July 1936. Germany has three tech roles. First, I tried for advanced mechanized infantry at a seven or higher. PB generated a four, so I failed. Second, I tried for long range aircraft at an eight or higher. PB generated a one, so I failed. Third, I tried for advanced submarines at an eight or higher. PB generated an eight, so I succeeded. Purchases. <clears throat> ah, I forgot to set out my purchases, but that I can do that very quickly. And uh, a Spanish fighter. Okay. All right, let's get this on camera. Germany has 20 IPP to spend. I will purchase one airborne infantry for three. I'll upgrade the medium factory in East, uh, Eastern Germany to a major factory for six. And I'll lend lease a fighter to the Spanish nationalists for 10. That's 19, <clears throat> so I'll save one. All right, combat movement. Well, first, we've got one move. Let's raise this up a little bit. We have one move in Austria, or I guess from Bavaria. The uh, one infantry will move to Austria to perform annexation. I need another chip. <clears throat> So I'll end up with three infantry there in Austria. And Austria's worth two. So Germany goes to 22, but uh, Great Britain goes to 12 and France goes to seven. All right. <clears throat> the other combat is in Spain. Um, I guess I should scroll down here to Spanish Morocco. Oh no, that's a non-combat move, Spanish Morocco. So uh, from Basque country, oh no, I'm sorry, uh, from uh, Galicia and Leon, one infantry, one artillery, one cavalry, and one fighter, everything will go into Basque country. Um, so, and he has one infantry there. So let's get that on camera and roll that out. <clears throat> yeah, I think that captures everything. So uh, I have one boosted infantry or I guess I should do my artillery first strike at two. Ah, that's a hit, the battle's over. <laughs> okay, um, that was a nice, nice surprise. So I take Basque Country with one infantry, one cavalry, one fighter, and the, or I'm sorry, uh, one infantry, one cavalry, one artillery, and the fighter goes back to Galicia and Leon to land, so let's put that on camera. Looks like this, so that'll get my Spanish recruitment roll up to one, two, three, four, five, five. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, and then got some non-combat movement while we're down here in Spain. This is what I was talking about, Spanish Morocco. 
the heavy cruiser and the naval transport will pick up the infantry and the artillery from Spanish Morocco and then drop them off, I think in Galicia and Leon. Let's see if that's what I... Yep, and then they'll go in port in Galicia and Leon. <clears throat> And while I've got that on camera, that's where the Lend-Lease will arrive. It'll be created in, say, Western Germany. It'll travel down to Galicia and Leon. And the moment it hits Galicia and Leon, turns from a German fighter into a Spanish nationalist fighter. And that's the, well, do I want to move that? guy up in Western Andalusia. Hmm. No, I think I'll, I think I'll leave it like that. And in fact, while I've got the camera down there, I'm not gonna do any more movement in uh, Spain. I'll roll the recruitment roll uh, to see if I get an extra infantry. I've got that teed up on PBE. Need a five or less. And I got exactly a five. So I will add an infantry to um, Galicia and Leon. All right. So that's my situation in Spain. We can go to do non-combat in Germany. Yeah, I think we got everything, everything here. Um, let's do some lumping. I'm, I'm one of those lumpers. I think my friend Boston Bruce is a lumper too. Uh, so from, let's see, from A11, I'm gonna put this coastal sub, whoops, I'm sorry, from A12, I'm gonna put this coastal sub in A11. Lump those two together there. And from A11, I'm gonna move one submarine to A28. Guess that's not so much lumping. Is that is A28 on camera? It's just north of Spain. No, it's not. So I moved down here to A28 with that sub. <clears throat> um, let's see. And I'm going to have the rest of my navy from A11, which is the battle cruiser and a destroyer, will move into A12. So I'll have five ships there in A12, and then the coastal sub in A11. <coughs> um... Was there, I might have had my torpedo boat destroyer set up wrong. I think, because when I know it's a torpedo boat destroyer, moves from A11 to A12. So uh, if I mess that up, I, uh, I'd like to have all five of those uh, surface ships in A12. Boy, stayed up too late last night. I'm not having, the, I'm not doing the best job. Okay, one from Western Germany, one artillery will move to Eastern Germany. From Berlin, one artillery will move to Eastern Germany. Um, okay. <clears throat> Let's see. From Berlin, I'll have two infantry, the fighter and the tactical, will move to Western Germany. Uh, from Berlin, I'll have the light armor and anti-aircraft artillery will move to eastern Germany. What did I want to do with that cavalry? I guess I'm leaving them in, in Berlin. And uh, I'm going to have one militia move from eastern Germany into Berlin. 
Okay. And I think that's that's everything. I'm going to place my Airborne in Bavaria. I'll upgrade the medium factory in eastern Germany up to a major factory. I've decided that uh, the what I'm going to do, I've set up my board with my medium factories that are very likely to get upgraded. For example, Stalingrad, I just took a... Uh, major factory and just tilted it on its side and here in uh, Kyushu major factory tilted on its side in the United States major factories tilted on its side now maybe they won't get upgraded and then later on I'll just replace them with mediums but um, it's just something that I've seen happen so many times I was like why do I get out medium factories when I'm gonna swap them out when I can just tilt them face down and uh, if they get upgraded like on Russia's turn if Stalingrad gets upgraded and I'll just tilt it up the way I tilted up the eastern Germany factory might not have even been on camera when I tilted that thing up it was like this and I set up I set it up this way and then boom just did it that way so L lazy little little trick <clears throat> okay I already did the lend lease I already did the uh, Spanish recruitment Collect income. I'm collecting 22 with Germany, plus I saved the one. So I end the turn with 23. Um, I'm not going to do disposition of forces this round. I hope that's okay. Let me know if you guys have any questions. But we've got so much time, we can, we can sort things out. And next up is Panzer J with turn 1.2 CCP and 1.3 USSR.